Good day. The first lecture is on white blood cells. We're going to look at the morphology, function, and quantitative abnormalities in the blood. I'm Penny Nansamba, a lecturer in COVAB School of Biosecurity, Biotechnology, and Laboratory Lab Sciences. The objective of this lecture will be first to outline basic identifying features of leukocytes, number two, to outline the basic functions of the leukocytes, and lastly, to outline causes of abnormalities in quantitative amounts of the different types of leukocytes in the blood. We shall start with classification of the white blood cells. These are also called leukocytes and they can be classified or described according to the size, the shape of the nucleus and the color, the cytoplasm, the color, and the existence of granules in the cytoplasm. So, for this presentation, we shall look at two broad categories of leukocytes. These are the granulocytes. They have granules in the cytoplasm, and they've got a nucleus that is segmented. They are the neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Then we shall look at the agranulocytes. They have no granules in the cytoplasm, and the nucleus is entire. It is not segmented. These are the lymphocytes and the monocytes. The neutrophils are the first type of leukocytes that we are looking at. They are the granulocytes. The nucleus is segmented or lobed. It's got three or more lobes, up to five lobes, and it has got pink granules in the cytoplasm. They are very fine, we call them dust pink granules. The function, they respond to bacterial infection or inflammation. When we have increased numbers of neutral Fuel circulating in the blood. It, the syndrome is called a uh, neutrophilia. And when we've got decreased numbers of neutrophils circulating in the blood, the syndrome is called a neutropenia. So when we've got bacterial infections, inflammations, after surgery, or perhaps in certain cancers, we see increased numbers of neutrophils circulating in the blood, and we can say that there's a neutrophilia. Neutropenia, in the other hand, can be caused by severe widespread bacterial infections, chemotherapy, or certain aplastic anemias. Usually, we might see immature neutrophils circulating in the blood, especially when in the initial stages of a neutrophilia. So the immature neutrophils are called band cells. They are characterized by a C-shaped nucleus or an S-shaped nucleus. So there are some study questions which would like you to do in your spare time. And then slide number four. You can refer to the lecture notes or any additional reference material. Eosinophils are the second category of neutral leukocytes that we're looking at. The nucleus is segmented, bilobed, 
And what is outstanding about the cinephils are the bright red eosinophilic granules in the cytoplasm. They are large and red. You can't miss them. The function is to respond to parasitic infections. So any worms, any um, severe allergic re reactions will cause an increase in eosinophils in the blood, uh, leading to an eosinophilia. But there are some cases when we can get decreased numbers of eosinophils in the blood. Now, this side, this slide compares an eosinophil to a neutrophil. If you look at the granules in the eosinophil, they are large and red. And it, that makes it distinct from a neutrophil that has got dust pink granules. So there are study questions on slide number seven, where you can... Um, Read up the diseases that cause eosinophilia or the diseases that cause eosinopenia. The third class of leukocytes that we're looking at are the basophils. They've got large basophilic granules that are deep blue or violet in color, and they usually obliterate or obscure the, the nucleus. That's also bilobed. The function of basophils um, is to respond to, to allergies or anaphylaxis. Increase in number of basophils is known as a basophilia. There are also study questions on slide number nine which you can respond to. So let's look at the agranulocytes. They have no granules in the cytoplasm and the nucleus is not segmented. It is entire. So the first agranulocytes are the lymphocytes. They've got a round nucleus that fills up most of the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is bluish in color. The function of uh, lymphocytes is to respond whenever there is a need for antibodies. And this is usually following a viral infection. But there are some bacterial infections that may elicit antibody responses. So there are the B lymphocytes and there are the T lymphocytes. On the left, those are small lymphocytes. They haven't yet reacted to any antibodies. On the right, we have the large or the reactive lymphocytes. With the reactive lymphocytes, the nucleus is now eccentric and has been pushed to the side and we are seeing more of the cytoplasm. Increase in numbers of lymphocytes is called a lymphocytosis. And it will occur in any, any viral infection where antibodies are being produced or in cases of cancers, lymphomas, or hepatitis. Decrease in numbers of lymphocytes would occur in some disease, viral diseases like HIV or hepatitis. Again, the study questions. And slide number four. Please find out what a, a, a plasma cell is. The last category of lymphocyte that we're going to look at is the monocyte. The nucleus of the monocyte is indented or horseshoe in shape. And the monocyte is, has got vacuoles in the cytoplasm. It's a rather large cell. It functions um, in cases of chronic bacterial 
infection or parasitic infection. Unlike the neutrophils, it's involved in phagocytosis. Increase in numbers of monocytes is called a monocytosis. Monocytes are actually very few in the blood, so we usually don't see a decrease. There are questions to study on slide number 13. And in this slide, we are actually comparing a lymphocyte to a monocyte. You can see monocytes are rather large compared to so lymphocytes. At, uh, at can we begin? And the cytoplasm is, um, sorry, the nucleus is slightly indented when you compare it to that of the lymphocytes that's entire and round. These are the sources of information that we use to compile the slides. And I'd like to encourage you to go to the ETVTs and complete the study points that we had given. Thank you.